Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm flashing over Faryab's Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. I probably should stop speaking like this just in case Siri uh, doesn't understand. <laughs> Bitch please. Right, so um, in my internal SD card I have got uh, the ROM and I've got uh, GAPS. Uh, both of the uh, things in there. GAPS is Google Applications, so you will need that to, for example, have the market and whatnot. So that's my internal SD card. So you want to make sure you got it in your internal SD card. And just to show you, I'm on Darky ROM V3, which is based on LG8. So I'm going to go straight into recovery. If you don't have recovery, you'll need to get um, you'll need to get recovery. Uh, by flashing a custom um, kernel such as CF root, that's always a good one, or for example, Sia's kernel by Gok. Um, so you just need to have a um, custom kernel. Here you can see I've got um, Clockwork uh, Recovery Touch, Clockwork Mod Recovery, sorry, Touch. So, first of all, what we're going to do is a wipe data factory reset. wipe cache go into advanced wipe dalvik now we're gonna go install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and over here you can see the ROM so we're gonna flash over the ROM and let that install. It is a quite small um, file. It's um, about 100 and around 150 meg. If um, memory serves me right, I can just check here. Um, it is not big at all. It's 132 megabytes, which is very small for a um, a ROM uh, on the Galaxy S3. So there you go. You can see already it's flashed over. So we're going to go back into um, my uh, SD card and now flash over gaps. And as I said, this uh, flashes over um, the Google applications, so this is quite useful if you just want to use your phone. And now we're going to reboot system now. You can see the uh, the app um, the boot animation. Just closing the window there. Ooh. I don't know if you guys are a fan of the um, the boot animation, although that's like the Nexus Nexus boot, um, like a revamped Nexus boot. Uh, personally, I'd like to see something different. Um, I remember like Team Android Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S1, um, as you can see over here, um, had had a nice boot animation. I'll be flashing this to uh, uh, Jelly Bean very soon as well. Let it boot up. Alright, so we've got a force close there. Well, actually, I should probably put Google on, but you know what? London, Dublin, yeah, the time is correct. Doesn't matter. Finito. Right. First of all, I'm going to turn off the 3G because I don't have data on my current SIM card, but I'll put in my Wi Fi. Yes, come and hack me like I give a shit. <laughs> right, there you go, now connected to Wi Fi, which is great. And so let's go to About Phone. So the baseband is LG8, based on 4.1.1, and as you can see, the information there. Let's see if if we go into the dialer, we've got the. Oh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Just to show you the uh, CSC and everything, but uh, as you can see, so um, that looks very nice. My uh, CSC is incorrect right there. Let's try and see if my I, uh, IMEI number will show up. Yes, it does. 
So uh, later on I'll try and see if I can change the CSC. Um, so let's go through the applications, what we've got, we've got play music there, we've got music as well, so we've got two different uh, music uh, applications. Oh look at that, that's very beautiful. This is my music, artists, albums, songs, very nice indeed, lag free, completely lag free. You got YouTube, you've got Talk, nothing special there. Super SU, just to show you, got uh, we've got SU. Although that icon over there seems a bit too big. Let's go back into it. Yeah, that icon seems a little bit off, <laughs> quite huge. Um, so let's go into the browser. My internet isn't great, just to let you know. It's absolutely shocking, in fact. But uh, let's try and see if. Uh, the browser works at all. You can see there, you can see the screen, it kind of dims, which is quite nice. It's almost like adjusting your uh, adjusting your screen brightness there. Let's go to Google Maps, let's try that. Seems to be slow. I don't know if that's my, it's the browser or if that's my uh, shitty ass internet connection but regardless we get to that let's try google let's try google now do you like chicken that was a little slow wasn't it good but um... again my internet isn't great over here I probably could go downstairs and check it out but there you go, <laughs> do you like chicken? <laughs> um, what's the weather like in Wimbledon? <laughs> a little slow isn't it? not, not as uh hyped up as I thought I was going to be when I used Google now but uh, again I don't know if that's because of me or is that because of the ROM or is it because of the actual feature but uh, anyway let's see if it picks up how's the weather like in Wimbledon which shouldn't be a hard question for it to recognize recognize faster god damn it ah, yeah, there you go can't reach Google at that's, that's probably most likely my my stupid internet connection but uh, as you can see it does work that's pretty cool. Let's go into the camera app. So, let's, uh... oh, Inception, Inception. Um, right. So, if I take a picture, it just goes to the side. I can go flick through it. That's that's really nice. Look at that. And if I don't like it. That's really cool. Here's video recording. Seems to be working right there. Looks nice. Zoom in. Seven items, oh my god. All right. Again, very nice. I like how you can just flick in and flick out very easily. That's very cool. Like so. Do you work? Do you want to work? Oh, there you go. There you go. Obviously, that's the not me talking. You can see, as I've, I haven't used a jelly bean, I'm not a pro in using jelly bean. But, uh, well, that's my tummy going. <laughs> Right, uh, let's go into recent applications. Let's bring this down again. Swipe on, swipe off, hold, app info. There you go, that's nice. Oh, show notifications, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can. Right. Well, this looks all very cool. Obviously, I'll need to play around with it quite a bit. But so far, it looks very nice. Very well, good job with um, CyanogenMod, Mod. Good job, uh, Fireab, for creating this. I really like the uh, 
the commitment that the uh, the guys have put in to the uh, to making a ROM, uh, a jelly bean ROM for the Galaxy S3, which I find really good. And if I change this to 0.5, this should be absolutely flying. Bloody hell, that is disgustingly fast. I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Bloody hell, I've never seen something so fast. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, please do rate, comment and subscribe. And give a thumbs up to Fariab on XT8. And don't forget to rate the thread, thread too. <laughs> See you guys. Take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.